Five, two, four. Faith Fit Mom, I am Latasha Alana. It has been a while. If you're joining me for the first time, I thank you for watching. Today, I'm going to be talking about my Mama Times Day event recap. And it's basically, I'm gonna be sharing my faith testimony because putting this event together was definitely a big faith move. I was super nervous, but it all came out together. So if you wanna hear the process that I went through, how I planned this event in three weeks, okay? And all the new things that I had to do and for the first time, and just how I had to trust God with my whole heart, lean not on my understanding but his understanding and trying to figure out god why is things not working the way i wanted to but all in all the event turned out well I, the ladies had a wonderful time but i'm going to be explaining the process of putting this event together so if you want to hear more definitely don't go away but make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already subscribed, okay? And click the little notification bell so you can get notified of when I'm going live, all right? So I want you to pause right now and go and click that subscribe button. It's red and it has, you know, white letters on it, subscribe, and then it has a bell somewhere in the box, right? And then you're going to click that too, okay? And then you're going to come back and then I'm going to share the rest of the story, all right? Okay, so welcome back. So last Saturday, February 22nd, 2020, just in case you're watching this video a year from now, I put on <laughs> a really cute event called Mama Times Day, self-care, self-love God's way. And so it was a day for moms to come together, unwind, get away from their motherly duties, just to, you know, have some me time, get a massage. I had a massage therapist on hand. Uh, we played some really cool games. The ladies won great prizes from different local vendors. I had some really great sponsors. The ladies won a, a one night stay day staycation at a four star hotel, um, $50 gift card. Uh, to uh, one of the spas, Hand and Stone Spa out here in Houston. Um, nice little African clutches all the way from Kenya, handmade uh, hair and body products from uh, women-owned businesses, mompreneurs, and it was just amazing. And, you know, the whole thing was self-love, self-care, God's way, and we I had some dynamic, incredible speakers that were sharing their self their self-love, their self-care journey. Um, I had a speaker from Lakewood Church, um, one of the organizers for the MomWise ministry at Lakewood. She came and she talked about having a soul vacation, how sometimes our soul needs a rest, our soul needs a vacation. And it was just so nice. I had a mom chat and I had, you know, three moms that shared, you know, what their self-care journey is like, what does their regimen look like, and do they, how do they incorporate God's love, how understanding God's love for us will help us to really be intentional with our self-care. You know, because society tells us, hey, you're a mom, you need to always be on the go. You don't get breaks, right? But we need them, we need those breaks. We need to take time to just stop, be still, and know that God is God, right? so that we're not burnt out because we are the, the the nurturers in the household and you know we are the ones that look over and manage everything in the household we're like the ceos of the house right and if moms are not functioning well and operating right the whole house is dysfunctional okay so it was a great day for us to come together, laugh, love, make new connections. The games that I had was just beautiful. And so, and the ladies loved it. They and they were enjoying themselves while they were there. They were coming up to me and commenting. I'm just truly blessed. However, <laughs> putting this event together 
was an emotional roller coaster. O M G, it was. It was about, It was. It was very all over the place, you know. And I come up with these big ideas. I'm like, yeah, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. Hey, what about Mama Times Day? You know. I'm like, what about something for the moms to come together and just relax and you know let loose and let their hair down and you know so i came up with this event and i also wanted to not leave god out of it because this is all a part of my brand faith fit mom and making sure that we keep god a priority in everything that we do and god wants us to rest god wants us to take time to rest and so this event was so needed and my speakers, they were all in agreement with it. They loved the theme. And so, but putting it together, like there was a lot of things that I did new for the first time, like putting a sponsor proposal together. Never did that ever in my life. Trying to reach out to people that are gonna come out and support this event for free, you know, but, you know, and I had to cold call vendors, people who I didn't know who I'm meeting for the first time. So shout out to Tyra D. Jones. You know, like I met her at the Texas Black Expo, but I didn't really interact with her like that. But I was following her on Instagram and just looking. So I reached out to her and I told her my vision and she was like, yes, this is needed. I'm definitely, I want to be a part of it. Shout out, just shout out to everybody. Southern Sweet Bee, Brittany, people who I'm just meeting over the last, you know, three to four months, right? And I put this event together in three weeks and my ticket sales were not selling the way I was expecting them to. I put it on Eventbrite, I was like, yeah, I'm sure because of all the things that I'm offering that people are gonna be flooding to get their ticket. Oh no. I had to lower the price. I had to do flash sales. I mean, the behind the scenes of putting this together was very overwhelming. And I had my moments where I was just staying hopeful, but then I would get discouraged, but then I would talk to somebody that would boost me up and make me feel better and say that, you know, like my massage therapist, she was telling me that, you know, everything's gonna come together in divine order. So shout out to Stacy. You know, um, I reached out to a few spas to see if they can bring their massage therapist. I got no's, I got no's from vendors, you know, um, so now next time I know how to strategize, but I had to really trust God. And when I talk about, you know, really putting my faith in action, putting this event together was definitely a faith move. Trusting in God, believing in him, you know, just, you know, not leaning on my understanding, but leaning on God's understanding, trusting that it's all gonna come together like he wants it to. And I'm just like, God, why aren't my tickets selling? Selling, you know, what's going on? Like, are they seeing it, you know? And, but I had ended up having a good turnout. The event turned out well, even though I was overwhelmed. <laughs> and I had a headache for like the next three days until I actually like stretched and got all my muscles to like, you know, calm down. I mean, I was put turned out so well, but this definitely was me utilizing my faith, putting my faith in action because, you know, you have this idea, you have it on paper, and now you have to do the work. Remember, in the Bible says, faith without works is dead. So you can have all the belief, oh yeah, and all these ideas, but if you don't put the work into it, things are not gonna happen. So I was like, okay, here's my ideas. I have to call this person, that person. I have to, I put the flyers together. I had to promote. I mean, I did too much. I was the MC for the event, the host. I was introducing the speakers. I was the interviewer for the mom chat. I was like, next time I need a host, next time I need an MC, I cannot do this all by myself. So much adrenaline, you know, excitement, thrill, grateful. It was just a lot. Um, but all in all, I will be having more because I did this event and it turned out well, I know I'm capable of doing more. And this was my first event out here in Houston, you know, and so I've done events back in, in New York and I've attended plenty of events. 
And so here's one of the things that happened. If I could have done a behind the scenes of me on the day of the event, the days before the event, y'all would have been like, oh my God, I don't know if this is gonna even work out, right? <laughs> but I was waiting for um, just different items to come in for my gift bags, for my raffles, and this one particular um, company I was waiting for did not, their stuff did not come until the day of the event. I had to sneak out of my event, and good thing where my event was, it was just literally down the block from where I live, so one of my volunteers drove me around the corner to my mailbox, I went to the mailbox and I, oh my God, it was there. You know, I was looking in the mailbox all week for this package to come and it did not come until like probably 4 p.m. You know, good thing my event was kind of late in the evening. So I went and then when I got back, we went all the way in the back to put the items in the gift bags crazy. But I just had to have them in there because I'm like, the bags are kind of empty, these gift bags that I was giving away. And my volunteers was like, first of all, your attendees don't even know what's going in the gift bags. <laughs> I was like, y'all are so right. But being that I'm from New York and I'm used to going to events where we leave with these dope swag bags with full size products and like maybe little sample packets and sample bottles, but most of them is like full size products and I'm used to that. And so I wanna bring that to Houston. And so a lot of people may not be used to going to events and leaving with a gift bag full of like products and items and stuff like that. And so, they don't know, but I knew what I wanted it to be. And so my volunteers was just like, just relax. They don't know what they're supposed to be getting, you know? And I was like, y'all are so right, but I have to have it, you know? <laughs> I was like, I have yeah, to go to <laughs> The event turned out well, it turned out amazing, but I definitely had to let go and let God have his way. And one of the scriptures that came to mind one day, one morning I had just woke up four o'clock in the morning full of anxiety like the devil was really in my ear in my mind speaking to me like this event's not gonna go well oh you don't even have not one person who purchased a ticket you know and then I had to rebuke those thoughts and when I rebuked those thoughts there was just a peace that came over me like God was saying no the event is gonna turn out well it's go everything is gonna be okay right and then as I was doing my devotionals that morning the scripture that came was the verse of the day was 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Cast your cares on God, for he cares for you. All your anxieties, all your worries, all your burdens, cast it on him. Give it to him. Let it go and let God take care of it. And so I did that. And I was just like, okay, God, I'm going to give it to you. You're going to work this all out. I was waiting for people, sponsors to get back to me to let me know if they're coming to do the massages. I ended up having to go um, with a local massage therapist who ended up, she is amazing, you know? And it turns out we go to the same church. We all go to Lakewood, you know? Um, <laughs> and so it was just really, really nice to just see all the love and the laughter and the connections and the bonds that came out from something that I put together for an idea that God put inside of me that I was had enough faith and courage to, to do. And yes, I was nervous, but I believed in myself that I can do this, you know? I, I've done it before, there's no way that, you know, I should doubt myself that I can't do it again. And I know the steps to do, I just, it was just the fact that there were certain things that I had to do by myself and they were brand new and I was really nervous about it. And I just wanted things to go well, and it did. And things happened in divine order, like my massage therapist Stacy said, and you know i had to re-strategize i had to lower prices i do flash sales it was a lot of different strategies that i had to do for it to come together but those are the sacrifices that you have to make sometimes when it comes to doing events however next time i'll know better how to price things and how to market and how to give myself more time to put the event together and 
find a team of people. I, I really truly thank my volunteers and those who helped me decorate the night before and the day of and who helped throughout the event. You know, it, it really was amazing. And so this event was definitely a beautiful event. These are some of the decorations. This is my faith testimony. I am faith fit mom, right? And so, you know, on this channel, you're gonna be hearing me share different faith testimonials and how God came through, but how I was obedient as a daughter of the Most High to just trust Him and let, let go, let God have His way, let Him take control. Because when we start feeling anxious and overwhelmed and down, tense, that means we need to relax and be like, you know what, God, I'm not worrying about this no more. And that week, I was like, I'm not worrying about no ticket sales. I'm not worrying about who's not coming, you know, who, what vendors said no, or what sponsors didn't say yes, you know. I'm just gonna let it be. And look what happened. It turned out to be so beautiful. And I got people who wanna collaborate with me on future events, and it's just so awesome. So I'm just impressed at what I was capable of doing, what I was able to, you know, do, and how I was able to impact other moms. And so, yes, so stay tuned. I do have more events coming up in April and May. And so I'm looking forward to those. If you're not already following me, go ahead and follow. Follow me on Instagram at Latasha Alana. Also read my blog, faithfitmom.blog. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hearing me share my event recap and you know just talk about how I incorporated my faith into this event. And I hope I encouraged you in some way for you to take action in something that you might be hesitant or you know fearful about. Um, fear will come, but you know that your help coming from the Lord so you don't have to fear for long, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned, there's more videos to come. Thank you for watching Faith Fit Mom. See you next time, bye.